Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another movie review. Uh, before we get started, you're going to see several movie reviews this week because um, I went on a Redbox binge uh, and I got four different movies. Um, I even bought some. Uh, I, I got Pig with the new Nicolas Cage, well, newer Nicolas Cage movie. I got The Green Knight, which we're talking about today. I got Old, which should already be up um, on the, ch the review should already be up on the channel. Um, I got uh, Candyman and I got A Quiet Place too. so expect reviews for all of those and I'm going to slide in book reviews also. Um, and of course the Stephen King content you can look forward to uh, every Thursday. But uh, So today we are talking about, like I said, The Green Knight. I'm a big fan of A24, the uh, production studio, and I've liked every single movie by them uh, that I've watched. Hereditary, uh, A Ghost Story, uh, numerous, numerous ones. I believe they also did Midsummer, um, but this one, this one is something special, and I'm going to tell you up front. So those of you who uh, come in here looking for the TLDW, um, I absolutely love this movie with the caveat that if you like a lot of action and adventure and there's always has to be something physically happening on screen, you're probably not going to like this movie. The number one complaint I saw from people on Twitter when uh, I said I was going to be watching it was that they were bored to tears. One person said, uh, definitely grab a pillow. I, I was not bored whatsoever with this movie. This movie is a work of art. Um, it is a gorgeous to look at. The acting is phenomenal. Dev Patel as uh, Gawain, Garwin, Gawain. I, 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 I've always said it uh, Gawain, but I think it's actually Garwin um, because that's how they pronounced it in the movie. Uh, but he, he does such a fantastic job. Uh, Joel Edgerton does an amazing job. Everybody just comes through, and it is, it is fascinating and unsettling, uh, but there's not a whole lot that actually goes on in the movie. It's pretty much like Lord of the Rings. It just goes from one place to another without the epic battle sequences. Um, I really liked the the underlying themes and subtext also. Uh, it's, a, it's a very deep film, um, and the ending was spectacular. I even liked uh, the, the choice to do the archaic writing, old, not really old English, but the archaic uh, format of uh, showing the chapter titles on the screen. Um, I liked that bit. Uh, the, the kid who plays the scav... Well, he's not a kid. He's probably a grown man. But the, the dude who plays the scavenger uh, is fantastically done. Um, ev every, everybody... Did, did a fantastic job. Um, but this is one of those movies, I'm gonna, I got it from Redbox, I rented it, but uh, I'm gonna end up getting it probably on 4K because it is such a beautiful movie to look at. Um, this is one of those films that I feel I can just put on in the background and listen to the score and then look over every now and again and appreciate the artwork while either I'm working or just, just hanging out that I can just have this going on, it's just like a piece of artwork on the wall that I don't have to pay attention to all the time, but there's certainly key scenes that I would watch over and over and over again. In fact, the uh, the DVD menu uh, section, uh, and unfortunately I had to get it in DVD because they didn't have the Blu-ray at Redbox, but the, uh, the sequence with uh, Dev Patel's character uh, on fire is, is the DVD menu, and I watched that on a loop numerous times, uh, and I... I I don't know. It's like I said. It's a work of art. I really can't explain why I loved it as much as I did it, because it's such a, a cerebral experience. It gave me certain emotions like love, fear, passion. Uh, it, this insidious sense of dread, especially when um, he's at the Lord's castle uh, and the Lord's played by Joel Edgerton, um, and the woman who's there. There's the old woman with the blindfold, but the other woman who's there disturbed me greatly, uh, even more so than, than Joel's character. Um, but yeah, this one, if you're into art house, this is my kind of art house movie. And it is one of those things that you experience more than you watch for plot and that, that kind of thing. And there is plot. He's going on a journey. There's uh, reasons for everything. Um, if you're someone who doesn't like long shots 
Um, even if they're beautiful, long shots with nothing happening or characters brooding. Um, if you don't like that kind of thing in your cinema, I completely understand. It's probably not going to be for you, but I loved it. Like I said, it's my kind of art house movie, and I'm giving it a full five stars. But have you seen The Green Knight from A24 Studios? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, you hated it, felt meh about it. But if you felt any of those things, explain in detail why you felt that way so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another movie review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!